Get that countdown ready. Thanksgiving is just eight days away, Maria. You Are you said ready? That. No, I am not, man. <laughs> you said this to me earlier, and I was like, you're wrong. You're wrong. It is two weeks away, and we looked at a calendar, and boy, was yeah, I wrong. Yeah, the stress is adding, isn't it? It, You it's know, building. can you hear it in my voice? I can. Yeah, I did, yes. <laughs> so, of course, the holiday can be loads of fun, but if you're the one that's doing the hosting, it can get oh, overwhelming. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. You guys are hosting, right? We are. Oh my gosh. Special All right. This group. is for you too then. Or for or for your wife or for everybody, yeah. you know? Uh, we want to ease those negative feelings so you can actually enjoy the big day and joining us live with some tips to help manage that stress or maybe even have a stress-free Thanksgiving. Wouldn't that be nice? We have Hannah Keeley here with us. Hey Hannah, good morning. Good morning. Yes, you can have a stress-free Thanksgiving. I promise it's possible. <laughs> okay, let's talk about that. Let's get right into it. So your first tip here is to take into account what our families actually want. So is that food right. or is that decor? Explain that. Well, what is that? It, it can actually be anything because sometimes moms, I know I've got seven kids, sometimes we have these unrealistic expectations. This must be what happens. And maybe nobody really wants green bean casserole. I mean, let's just sit down with the family and ask them, like, what would be the perfect yeah. Thanksgiving? Because sometimes we get so focused on getting the meal right that we forget we're supposed to be getting our heart right. And this is a day that we're supposed to be pouring gratitude over everything. You know what? That is genius because I don't think I've once asked anybody, yeah. what do you want for <laughs> right? this holiday? <laughs> Oh that's my great, goodness. That's a great I know. tip. That's a great tip. All right. Well, your second tip is to create some new traditions, but how can you do that while limiting the stress? Well, now this is another area where we can tend to think, well, we have to do what we've always done. So this is when we watch the parade. Now we have to go outside and play touch football. You don't know. Again, sit with your family and say, what would make this a really fun day that you could be so grateful for? And we can look back at some happy memories. They may say, we want to play Twister, <laughs> you know, or maybe Thanksgiving charades. Come up with something fresh and new and yeah. really look at it with new eyes. I get to do this. I don't have to stick with something that may not be that joyful. I get to create something that is just for me and those people that I love. Yeah, there you go. I uh, couldn't have said it better myself. Now we come to my department, Hannah, the cleanup. <laughs> you know, it could be considered a, a downside for some, but you know, for, yeah. for me especially, you know, how can we make it less of a burden? <laughs> Okay, well, to I me. need to talk to, to, to the people in the kitchen right now. Okay. This is what we do. Okay, someone comes in and they're like, hey, what can I do to help out? Now, the typical answer, you probably already know this, yes. is, oh, nothing. I, I got it. Don't I'm worry fine. About it. Enjoy yourself. Go, yeah. go have fun. Yeah. Right, go enjoy yourself. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But what if they could enjoy themselves by coming into the kitchen? cranking up some music, yep. dancing around. I mean, if someone comes into my kitchen Thanksgiving, I'm like, I right, stir that. Uh, <laughs> make sure you what, unload the dishwasher, make a fresh pot of coffee, put people to work because it's more fun when you're doing things together. That could actually be, surprisingly, one of the greatest memories of Thanksgiving is everyone helping out and just enjoying that time together. It's, it's, it's true, it really does work. You know, I agree with you, Hannah, because you know, when I do like the dishes just on a normal basis, mm -hmm. I just put up some music and it's like, man, that it's job goes bad. by so much faster, you're into it. Right? Yeah. I like right. that. I like and, that. And like have a dance-a-thon right there dance in the kitchen while you have the music on. Do karaoke. This could be so much fun, but here's the truth. You get to create it. So, exactly. so get rid of like whatever we think we have to do and just be creative and make it something that you and your whole family will remember as fun and stress-free. I yes. love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Hannah Keeley, lifestyle expert, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Of course.